Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to be coloring my sister's hair. We're actually going to be coloring the front of her hair a nice blue color. She wants electric blue but you see all that red in there so we'll see how far we get this lifted. And then in the back we're just going to cover up the red by making it a little bit darker than what her hair is right now and kind of taking some of that red tone out of there. So we've already parted it off where we're going to start. Being that she has all this color in there, we're going to be doing the smallest sections of foils to lighten this so that we get the best lift and the most leveled lift in her hair because as you know, red is extremely hard to take out of your hair. Let's get started. For her highlight formulation, I'm going to be using Provana. I'm using Ultra Light Power Lightener. I'm going to be using that with 40 volume. Yes, I said 40 volume. I'm gonna be working fairly quickly and I'm looking for it to bust through the red a lot quicker and not take such a slow process. I'm definitely looking for a thick consistency as you can see in the bowl. I wanna make sure I'm taking really thin slices I want to be able to read through these slices they're so thin that way I know that I'm getting an even saturation all over the hair so that we're hopefully working on getting the best lift. I did apply most of this video in fast mode so that you did not have to sit with me through the process but slow enough that you can still see the technique used on lifting her hair. As we start to transition to the top of that section, we are going to be stopping at the middle part and then we will continue on the other side doing the same technique all the way up to that middle part as well. Starting on the other side, we'll repeat what we did on the opposite, taking thin sections again all the way up to that middle part. Don't forget, if you like watching these videos, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications all the time, so that way you can see any other updated videos that I have out there. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it. And I love to hear comments, so if you ever have anything to say, or maybe you would have done this a different way, I would love to talk about it. Okay, now that I have finished putting all the foils in, there's approximately 24 foils in just the front of her head. That is how thin you want your slices to be when you are trying to pull out color to make a lighter color or like we're trying to do, get a blue in there. We are still going to have to go back in and do her base and then we're going to also have to tone this before we add blue. If we do not tone this before we add blue, we will definitely, definitely get green. And we're not looking for green, we're looking for blue. 
So we're gonna let her process no more than 55 minutes, but every 15 minutes we're going to check her foils to see how far they've lifted and if they're ready to come out because we don't wanna leave them in if they've already lifted all the way, but we have up to 55 minutes before the lightener stops working. So we're gonna process her and then we'll work on her base. For her base, I'm going to be using the same Pravana Lightener Powder, and this time I will be mixing that with 20 volume. This is because we're going to be doing this on her roots, and I'm also going to be making it a consistency that's a little bit more liquidy. As I apply her root base color for the lightener, I'm going to be removing any lightener from the ends of the foils that is no longer necessary. If there are any areas that still need to be lifted slightly, I will remove the old lightener and replace it with the new 20 volume lightener to see if I can get any more of that brassiness out of her hair that is left over from the red. Now that we have removed all the foils from that side, we will allow her base to process as we go to the other side and continue doing the same thing, putting the lightener in at her roots and pulling off the old foils. Just a tip about timing, I actually started taking the foils off 30 minutes after I had finished the last foil so that the timing had not reached 55 minutes yet when I started removing the foils, giving me time to continue processing as well as getting the roots done in time so that it all gets done at a fair time to wash off. That we have done her base we've done her highlight you can see that the top is a nice yellow color and the bottom still has a hint of orange inside of it and that is why we don't know what we're gonna get when we lift someone's hair especially when they've had as many colors as this girl's had in her hair so quite a bit of them and red is a really difficult color so we're actually going to be using an ash toner on her hair since we're going blue even if some of the top of it turns really ashy gray, it's not going to be a problem. It will blend in with the blue. Um, we're going to do one that could be done on wet hair, so it is a Pravana Ash Toner. So we'll get that in. We'll leave it maybe about 5 to 10 minutes, and then we'll be able to rinse it out. Once we're done with that, we will be able to color the back of her hair that darker color to erase some of that red. And then afterwards, we will be sticking the blue on we are going to be using Pravana Ash Toner with a zero lift developer. We will be leaving that on approximately five to 10 minutes. We will watch it as it processes to see when we want to rinse it off. We want to quickly place the toner all over the hair, being that we have such a short time 
frame to get it on or to have it removed, we wanna make sure we get it on fairly quickly. So as you can see, I'm running through this process really quick. I mean, obviously in fast mode, it's super quick, but in real time, I was moving fairly quickly as well to make sure that I can saturate this toner all over her hair in time and allow it to process. Now that we have toned the hair, you can see at the top it's still a little bit lighter and the bottom's a little bit darker. And that's why when you're doing something where you have to remove someone's color, you can never guarantee them that you're gonna get exactly where you need to go based on all the color that you have to lift out of the hair. We're gonna let this naturally dry and then we're gonna work on the back and put a darker shade on there with a lot of ash to get some rid of some of these red tones that she has in her hair right now. And then when after we're done with that, we'll come back and we'll be able to put the blue on. This process is a basic all over color. I am starting at the roots and then I will go back through and work my way through the ends of her hair. I am putting a semi permanent on her hair being that she had color on it previously. I would not want to put more color on that. Plus we are looking to deposit since I am bringing the shade a little bit darker as well as putting a lot of ash in there that will help tone down some of the red. Obviously we cannot remove the red in this process, but we can camouflage it. Okay, so now we have colored the back. We have toned out as much red as we possibly can by making it a little bit darker with a lot of ash in it. And we're going to be depositing her blue inside the front of the hair. I am using two different blues. I mixed a nice sky blue with a nice true blue. I know she's looking for an electric blue, but being that we did not know where her hair would lift up, we had to be ready for all occasions to make sure that the blue we have actually covers her hair. So we're gonna make sure that it's completely saturated, leave it on for 20 minutes, and then we will be rinsing it out with cool water. Once she is fully processed and we have washed her out, I will be blow drying her hair and we will show you the finished product. And now the final result. She loves her new blue. Like this video, share to anyone you know, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit that bell for any notifications for future videos coming out. And always trust your stylist.